I've got a really, really important topic that I want you to just sit back and just focus on for just a little bit. This is so important that what you're about to hear could save your life or it could save the life of someone you love. So just give me five, 10, whatever minutes it takes because I'm, honestly, this is a very important conversation that I really would like you to be watching and listening to the whole thing. Uh, I, to my immediate left, I have Lori Bassett with me. To her left is Brooke Dudgeon. And then to her left, we have Julia Meyer. And perhaps you have seen these signs. They are showing up all throughout Allen County, in larger regions throughout Ohio and beyond. There's a great story why this, why this is even exists and it's an even more exciting future for the people who are seeing these signs and potentially their lives are being changed. So I'm gonna start out with Brooke, Brooke Dudgeon, who is kind of the, the one spearheading behind these signs that we're seeing everywhere. Brooke, talk to me a little bit about the You Matter campaign, the sign campaign, the shirts, everything. So the signs uh, became from my son. He committed suicide last year in January and um, we wanted something to do with that pain. So the, the signs, the words, it's a very simple message. The message is, you matter. Why did you pick a message like that? Um, the You Matter movement is going across the United States. So uh, it's very simple, but it's very important. It is very important. Um, Lori, you are Brady's sister. Yes. Brady Bassett, as Brooke mentioned, uh, committed suicide in January of 2018. And um, through the pain and the struggle and the difficulty through all of it, we're now seeing this You Matter movement come up with the idea to help other people understand that regardless of what they're going through, they really do matter, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about why you feel that um, that something like this is so important? I feel like there are a lot of people that um, think that they're alone and think that they don't have anyone to go to. And this is just kind of a visual reminder, like on your way home, on your way into work, that you are loved, you do matter, and there's people that are gonna be there for you if you need someone to talk to. So suicide is something that uh we need to talk about. It's important for us to talk about this because statistics indicate that individuals who do take their lives don't necessarily want to die, but they want to get away from the pain and the difficulty. And uh, one of the important things to be able to do that is to talk about it. I think it's very important to talk to somebody that you trust. Um, a lot of people have come to me and said, I don't feel comfortable just going and talking to somebody. Uh, they don't understand. So you need to find somebody that you trust and talk to them, whether it's a psychologist, whether it's a friend, whether it's a pastor at your church, uh, small groups. You need to have somebody that you can talk to that will listen to you and be there for you. Now, one of the things that you have been learning because you've talked to so many people now mm -hmm. is that it is not unusual for people to struggle with suicidal thoughts. Right. And we're not talking just young people. We're talking about all kinds of people. What are, what are things you've been finding out about that? Um, there's all ages of people. What has been so hard for me to understand is the older generation of people. Um, I, just because it was my son as a teenager, thought that it was mostly just young people. You don't hear about the older generation, uh, but it's just as much the older generation as it is the younger generation. Everybody is struggling. Everybody is struggling. Now you wrote in a September 25th Facebook post, Rarely does a person contemplating suicide allow the ones they love to know the depth of their sadness. Um, so I know Brady wanted to be seen as normal, that nothing was wrong with him. He did not know how to share his pain other than the letters he left after it was too late. Julia Meyer, you are Brady's best friend. Yes. So suicide doesn't just affect the person that takes their own life, does it? It affects everybody around them. 
everybody. So it's now been, it's not been quite two years, but the, the recovery process, the healing process takes a very long time. And what have you experienced in that time a as lot. you've had to go through that? A lot. I've experienced probably everything you could ever imagine. I've experienced a lot of different types of grief. I mean, anger, sadness. And then there's some days that I'm like happy for him that he doesn't have to feel it anymore, but I'm angry that I do. I mean, I just want everybody to know that they always have somebody. So as we are doing this interview, we have people who may be watching this thinking, I don't want to go on. We also have family members who are in the position that you're in now, and they are trying to go on. They're trying to move on. Do you have any advice for them on any of you on the steps that you need to take in this to go on living in this new, this new normal, this new life? I think that any type of reaching out is a step in the right direction. I think it takes a lot of strength to um, come to terms with yourself and realize that you do need help and you do need to reach out to someone and that in itself is a major step in the right direction. So you guys have found that counseling, counseling is mm -hmm. a good idea. Um, yeah. All of us, mm -hmm. all of us go. Yeah. 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 And how long do you think that that's going to happen? Are as you willing to do it as long as, as it's necessary? As long as we have to. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. As long as you have to. One big thing is don't hide it. You can't, you can't push it away. You got to let it, you got to be able to feel it not act like it's not there because it's it's here it mm -hmm. will always be here mm -hmm. it's always going to be something that you'll feel so as we have brady's picture right here beautiful smiling kid a wonderful way to remember him now we have the you matter movement brady mattered brady still matters and so do all of these other people um, what is your hope when you see a sign like this along the side of the road? What, what, do you, what do you believe might happen? People are driving by. It's been a rough day, a frustrating day. A person's driving thinking, I just had it. And what could come from it by seeing the words, you matter? I hope that somebody sees that and they just say it to themselves. I matter, you know? I do matter. I might be feeling like this today, but tomorrow is a new day, a new situation. Things change. And for those of you who are watching, you do matter. You do matter. Even if you don't feel like your family thinks you matter, even if you deal with friends that don't act like you matter, you really do matter. God created you for a special purpose and you do you do matter. We all are going to go through situations in life where we don't want to keep going. Um, mm -hmm. we, there's also issues, and we won't get into it now, but addictions and things that can create such uh, a battle. It's a battle. We could talk to all kinds of people who, who have been or know people who've dealt with this, but the bottom line is we got to hold on to those words. We do all matter. Can you tell me about the signs, the signs are available for purchase. Mm -hmm. All money is going to Teen Challenge. Money is going to, I'm splitting the money between, um, Brady was at Teen Challenge Adventure Ranch in Arkansas. So I'm going to split proceeds between their facility and through um, gatekeepers. I don't, she can probably tell a little bit more about well, gatekeepers. I gatekeepers at Allen East. It's uh, like a group that we go around to try to help people not like struggle with suicide. It's a, like a group that like we offer people things to not contemplate suicide and mm -hmm. to try to help them through it. That's just the main goal for us. Good, good. So tell us what you have available. The signs, the shirts, and then we'll talk about the bracelets. So the signs we have, those are $5 a piece. Um, we have the You Matter shirts. She's got the front. And on the back, uh, I thought it was important to put on here, it's not weak to speak, because that's, that's the biggest thing, is that um, people don't want to talk about suicide. They don't want to talk about it, they don't want to talk, they think they're weak, and mm -hmm. it's not weak to speak, we need to talk about it. And then um, suicide's not the answer, because I've had several people ask me, what does you matter mean? Mm -hmm. uh, it's about suicide, that, that's what it means to us. 
That's, it's suicide to us. You matter. You do matter. Right. Suicide is so not the, the answer. So the shirts are available as well. And then you also have bracelets. And we also have bracelets. All right, and we'll be back in just a moment and we'll tell you a little bit more about those bracelets. Hold on. You matter, you really do matter. Your family members matter, your grandchildren matter. Uh, even if a person in your family has been struggling with addiction or other issues and just seem to be going down the wrong path, they matter. God has, still has a plan for every single person. And as we were talking about the different items that are available to promote that subject matter, there's also a whole series of bracelets, kind of conversation starter bracelets. And we have Brady's other sister, Kenzie Bassett, who has now joined us to talk about what each color means with these bracelets. So um, the red is spouse or partner. Spouse or partner, okay. The yellow is parent. The yellow is parent. What does that say on there? Uh, it's not weak to speak. It's not weak to speak. And then it says you matter. You matter. All and right. it has the you matter heart. And white is child. Child. Blue is supporting suicide prevention. Supporting suicide prevention, great. Um, yellow or orange mm -hmm. is sibling. Okay, sibling. Green is personal struggle or attempt. Okay. Um, purple is friend or relative. Teal is supporting someone who struggled or attempted. And gray is first responder or military. And Kenzie, what bracelets are you wearing on your wrist? Um, I'm wearing the blue, the orange, and the teal. And each one has a specific meaning, doesn't yeah. it? For you. Yeah. yeah. So when a person wants to purchase these bracelets, what, how, how are they picking what they, what they get? Um, each color represents how suicide has affected you personally. So I am wearing white because I lost Brady to suicide and blue to support suicide awareness and prevention. Um, my goal with these bracelets is to have people in the community see other people wearing them and say, oh, they've got the bracelet on too. Mm -hmm. And I, that color, I have the same color. You know, we have something in common or they can start a conversation <clears throat> about suicide and how it's affected them. And that I'm hearing you say is so important, having the conversations. Correct. Whether you are the one struggling with the thoughts or whether you are a family member struggling with the aftermath, the conversations are so important, right? Yeah. So we have a, a nice picture of a You Matter sign with sunflowers, mm -hmm. and there's a story behind that. Who would like to share that sunflower story? You want me to? Okay. All right. <laughs> so um, the summer before Brady left for Teen Challenge, or two summers before, um, <clears throat> we had gotten a whole bunch of sunflower seeds, and I had been working, and I told the kids they had planted them in their little starters and I had told the kids I called them I said there's a storm running coming in you guys need to get these inside the house so it doesn't blow them away well they did not listen <laughs> they were typical children and the seeds just we lost all the seeds mm. they blew all over the place we couldn't find them so the year that uh, after I had some starters coming up of sunflowers in the year that Brady passed away, we had so many sunflowers growing all around our house. It was like a field of sunflowers. So something that they didn't listen to turned out to be a blessing with those sunflowers. It was a reminder of them planting those seeds and them coming back. So now we have seeds that Brady and Lori had started to spread with the community of those sunflowers. And that's also a reminder, anybody who sees sunflowers, they've come back, I thought about Brady, I thought about suicide when I saw the sunflowers today. But that bright brightness of the sunflower, right. just like the brightness of Heavenly Father right. Right. Can, can make that change. Right. And that is our hope for, 
for anybody watching this right. that there is hope. There's lots of hope. All right. For information about any of the items that we talked about, you can go to the You Matter Brady's Bunch Facebook page, or you can contact Brooke directly with the phone number on the screen. You can always call us here at the TV station if you have questions or concerns. And uh, remember, don't stay quiet. Have a conversation. Tell others what's going on in your life. Um, God has a plan for your life. You do matter. Hold on and don't give up.